Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And this video series, we're going to be exploring each of the planets in our solar system. We're going to be discovering what it would be like to discover our gravity, our weights, on each one of the planet's surfaces. So, to do that, I encourage you to grab your pen or pencil, your lab journal, and come along with me. And we're going to discover facts about each planet and do a little math along the way. So, let's go exploring. On to the first planet in our solar system. That planet is Mercury. Now, Mercury is our first planet and it's also our smallest planet. It is slightly larger than Earth's moon that we see outside our bedroom windows looking up at night. It looks very similar too with the grayish areas with the large areas of cratered zones. Uh, it has a limited atmosphere and uh, with that limited atmosphere and it being the closest to the sun it has the widest range of heat. So it can be at any point between 840 degrees Fahrenheit, that's around 450 degrees Celsius, on the hottest sunlight side, to around negative 275 Fahrenheit, or negative 170 degrees Celsius on the darker side, that is not exposed to the light. Uh, it's a really massive and the most massive in our solar system temperature gradient with a planet. Uh, that's not to say that it is a fascinating planet, even though it looks gray and cratered. Uh, the messenger probe that NASA sent did discover at the poles some frozen ice. So it does have, even though it has that large, really hot to really cold temperature gradient, inside some of those craters you have sunlight and heat that doesn't reach, so it can stay that solid ice temperature. So Mercury, and with Mercury, let's calculate what your weight would be on planet Mercury. So what we want to do is we are here to calculate our weight. From earlier, we've already calculated what our mass is, so we're going to fill in that box with 100. And the surface gravity for Mercury is, from our Mercury planet table selection, 0 0.38. So let's solve for X, which is our weight, 100 times 0 0.38. We're going to move our decimal for the two zeros over. So our weight equals 38. So if our mass was 100 on Earth, we would be weighing 38 on planet Mercury. Whether that's pounds or newtons, that's what we would weigh on the surface of Mercury. Now on to our second planet in our solar system, and what some consider the twin of Earth, since they are similar in size, we have Venus. Venus is the only planet named after a female, a female deity, uh, for the goddess of love. We have on the surface, notice it looks very orangey and red and hot colored because it also happens to be the hottest planet in our solar system, reaching temperatures of 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 500 degrees Celsius. Also, it's highly, highly cloud covered, creating an, a, a greenhouse effect of sorts, containing that heat inside the planet. Those thick clouds also fill and rain down sulfuric acid on its surface. And on the surface it's very, very active with volcanoes flowing and erupting. So it is a very active planet and it's also a very beautiful planet as well that we can look out in the morning and night sky and it is one of the brightest of the planets that we can see when we look out at night or in the early mornings. Now, many things have been sent to Venus, but with its high temperature and high pressure on the planet, it tends to melt what has been sent there. 
So it's not the most hospitable planet to be on or it's not the easiest to visit. But if we were to visit, this is what or how much we would weigh on the surface. So our weight on the surface of Venus So our mass that we calculated earlier, we're solving for our weight, which is x, our mass calculated from earlier was 100, and the surface gravity of Venus happens to be 0 0.90, very close to 1 because of its similar size to Earth, it being almost 1. So we have solving for weight. 100 times 0 0.90, a few zeros, carry that decimal over, your weight on Venus would be 90, whether that be 90 pounds or 90 newtons. So very similar to what you would weigh here on Earth. And remember, no matter how far you explore, no matter how much you discover, know that you are important and that no matter where you are, at whatever time, science never stops.